Hey, 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 it is me, Car down here in the gym for day 49. Yes, we're almost at that 50 day mark and it's special because I'm gonna give you a nice little update on the progress of what's been going on since day zero tomorrow. But today is Weird Wednesday and I wanna know what is the weirdest thing that you've ever encountered on a run, uh, on a walk, uh, down in the gym, what is the weirdest thing you've ever uh, encountered? Put a nice little comment down below and tell me what it was. But I can say for me, it was uh, during one of the uh, Disney Paris races that I did back in, I think it was 2018, that uh, I actually had a nice little dragonfly land on me uh, during that. So that was kind of weird. I had carried him for maybe, uh, maybe two feet because the wife at the time said, you know what, let's put him down. Don't want to get him all hurt and all that stuff. So I think that's probably like the weirdest thing that I've ever encountered during uh, any type of workout or anything like that. But motivation, that's what you're here for, right? Well, the difference between try and triumph is that little oomph that makes things good. So just know that if you keep on trying at it and keep on going and you will triumph in whatever you do. We've got 87 days left until the big race down there in Portugal, that 50K that we're gonna be coming up to. And then for today's little journey, it's gonna be a little surprise. Still gonna do that stretch. Still gonna do a nice little chest workout, but it's gonna be a nice little three mile run. And I'm gonna take you to a nice little special location later on this afternoon and film it from there. So you can see kind of like the different things of what's out there. So that is what it's gonna be. So with that, just remember, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this, and see you in a little bit. Hey guys, so welcome back. And we are right outside of Ramstein Air Base, getting ready to go do our nice little three mile run. And uh, at a certain location right outside that, uh, if you take a look, this it's part of a... Uh, a memorial in regards to uh, some uh, airmen that were uh, executed here around uh, or during uh, World War II. Uh, so they have a nice little memorial here for that. Uh, those blocks that you see are kind of like what remains of a bridge that used to be here uh, that uh, was part of the Audubon back then. Uh, but that's all that remains of it. And that's all of the remains of kind of like this memorial as well. Uh, there is another memorial, uh, probably about uh, a half mile down, uh, that is in regards to an air show accident that happened here. So a lot of history where we're at, but I'm gonna take you around a nice little uh, um, loop around and uh, it's just a real small little run. Hopefully you enjoy it. So in three, two, one, here we go. We got a Ukrainian war vehicle coming in.
So here's uh, another memorial uh, for a uh, Flugkastafa, uh, Flugkastastrophe von Rammstein on August 28th, 1988. And uh, this is kind of like the memorial to the uh, uh, air catastrophe here on, uh, on Rammstein. So there it is. And you got a nice little path that goes out to a nice little parking area back that way. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of benches here uh, that are dedicated to uh, either lost loved ones or or loved ones that have uh, uh, perished after. It's just a, there you go, uh, Italian uh, Luftwaffe, so the Italian Air Force. Uh, and then this one is kind of hard to read. Uh, uh, looks like the American, American uh, Air Force. And I thought there was a couple more over here. No, okay. Anyway, I guess there's only two benches. But like I said, here's the trail that moves back out that way, back to a parking lot where everyone can uh, uh, have easy access to this. But yes, there's another memorial that I was talking about. But anyway, back to the run and let's finish this three miler. It is, there it is. Three miles in 30 minutes and 41 seconds. So let's go ahead and save that and call the day. And I'll meet you back at the car for a nice little wrap up. All right, there it is. The three miles is complete. Today's activities are done. Here's the stats for what has happened today. I can say it's pretty interesting uh, being here. Uh, in Germany, you never know who you'll run into. Uh, right at the end of my run, I ran into uh, a couple of ladies that came from Cologne that uh, just wanted to talk about uh, the airbase. Who knows, maybe they're spies, but I doubt it. They seem to be very friendly, but that's what spies do, right? But uh, they were just fascinated by aircrafts and all that stuff, and they just wanted to see, uh, see uh, a chance to see a couple aircraft take off and uh, talk about... Uh, launch stool and uh some of the local cities around but i thought that was pretty awesome uh to sit there and talk with them uh and also we talked about uh some of the things back in uh, cologne as well uh, but yeah interesting of the people who you'll run into uh with that being said just remember uh you got this you got this you got this and since it's Weird Wednesday, just make sure you drop something down there in the comments of something or someone or whatever that you ran into during your runs. Uh, I'd love to hear it, and I already talked about mine, but uh, oh, they've got an aircraft taken off there. You can see it there. See, that's what I'm talking about. Weird and wonderful things that you see on your runs. But if you like this video, let's go ahead and give it a nice little thumbs up and if you are a subscriber, you know I always appreciate you and everything that you guys do for us, for me. Uh, and then, if you haven't subscribed, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, follow on in this nice little journey that I'm taking. But, with that being said, stay frosty my friends and I'll see you tomorrow.